what is up guys welcome to another video i hope you guys are all doing good today we're gonna react to beautiful melly um these are nine ways to figure out if she is cheating on you i think i think that that's what we should title this video just because i i don't know lying about why would a woman lie about something if she's not wanting to cheat on you or planning to cheat on you what's up lovers how are you doing today today i am making a video about eight ways that women lie to you and how to deal with it okay yes because sometimes you know we are uh, very sneaky yeah and um you might not know you might just think oh my god she's the perfect woman but uh behind your back she's a whole different story so yeah you should never think that your girlfriend is a princess or somebody which is not flawed that's a very very naive way of thinking about women you might you might want to know yeah. so before we start i created a patreon at www.patreon.com slash many monaco so if you want to come and text me if you have an issue or do a video call one-on-one -on -one video call yeah if you have the time guys go in check it out uh she gives great advice so 100 percent check it out if you want to and if you have the time we can do so on my Patreon. And there is more pictures of me and some more videos, whatever. You go over there. Is it just me or is this woman so gorgeous? And thank you. All right, so we're gonna jump right in. Number one. I wonder how old she is. She answers a question with a question. Okay. So women are gonna try to not lie. So they're gonna mm. deflect. So for example, if you ask her, where were you last night? She's gonna answer with, what do you mean where was i you don't think i was home yeah okay this is a little bit extreme where were you last night if she answers a question with a question you guys are just having like a typical conversation i don't know if that's such a huge red flag but if we're if you're asking your girlfriend where were you last night and she is answering a question with a question okay that that doesn't have to mean that she cheated on you maybe she was just hanging out with people which you don't like probably that that's why she's deflecting or trying to hide something. So the first one there, I have to say that if she's deflecting with a question, the likelihood that she's cheating on you is pretty low. We didn't ask you all of that. Just mm. answer the question. Mm. This is used to delay the real answer so she can give herself a little more time to mm. think about what she's going to say. People yeah. usually make up a lie in six seconds. So that little extra time that she's giving herself it's just to come up with a better lie and say where she was, even if she wasn't home. Like she was defending. I don't know. This one is difficult. The first one is difficult because it doesn't have to mean that she's cheating on you. It doesn't, but it could, or it could be a sign. It could be a, the beginning of maybe she's, maybe she did something very innocent, maybe flirted with a guy and she doesn't really want you to know about it. So she's, you know, she's trying to figure out a story, but. It's, it's on the road there. It's on the road there of cheating, but it's not really there. So I have to say this is just a yellow flag already, but also being defensive. That's a big sign. Yeah. But then she's like, why? Uh, another question. Just answer. Number two, she gives you a vague answer. Where were you last night? Out. Mm. Uh, I'm sure you were out. You were not home, but where? Obviously, she's not trying to tell the truth. Because she knows them well, you want to know where she was exactly. Let's play with the thought. I asked my girlfriend, where were you last night? And she says, I was out. I would not read too much into it, honestly. It, that's also a yellow flag, but it's not a red flag. I was out, okay. No, she should tell you the name of the friend. If she doesn't tell you the name of the friend, she's probably with somebody you don't know about. It's a new friend. Doesn't have to. A guy. Again, when she does stuff like that, she just tries to buy herself some time. Yeah, but this is, it has to do a little bit with overthinking. And when you're in a relationship, you trust your partner. And there's a reason why you trust your partner. If she hasn't shown you any signs that she is, she's going to cheat or that she has cheated or like, this is, I would say this is if your girlfriend has cheated on you. And then you have given her a second chance and then you're there and then you're like, where were you last night? And then she's like, oh, uh, 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 out. Then maybe, then maybe it's a red flag. But if she's just, if she just says out, 
maybe there's just something that she doesn't want you to know about what specifically i don't know but this is a this is a bit overthinking and as a guy i don't think that you should overthink or try to test your girlfriend i don't think that you should because honestly she's going to a woman is going to cheat on you whether you approve of it or not she's she's your girlfriend for a reason don't overthink it trust her this is still a yellow flag to come up with the best answer she doesn't want to give you too many details because i think i think she was out getting fucked. no i'm kidding maybe not but no. uh she was out with somebody that she knows you wouldn't like her yeah maybe she was flirting with a guy maybe something happened but i don't think that don't think so don't think so but yeah she she does have a point if you do have a girlfriend and you ask her where were you last night and she said out and she's being very vague it's not a good sign it is a yellow flag but not a red flag so don't overthink it if this happens to you specifically just let it go because what you can't just break up with your girlfriend just because she said i was out to be out with or she was somewhere that she knows you wouldn't want her to be pretty much she's just withholding information all right number three she's still lying she takes time to answer so this type of lies is more when she's not in front of you you know mm -hmm. so it's going to be more like text messages where she has time to think so she usually picks their same thing as well this is a yellow flag because if she's taking time to answer of course she's thinking of what to say but it could be stress it could be other things which are happening in her life which has really nothing to do with you answering mm, but if she if she's withholding touch if you're hanging out with your girlfriend and you know she's she doesn't want to touch you then that is a that is a very very that's like a red flag if she doesn't want to touch you but if she's taking a longer time to answer could be just the day which was pretty shitty could be a shitty day at work something happened maybe something happened with her parents she maybe fought with somebody it could be something like that i don't think she's thinking oh my god i want to break up with him or i or I'm, I'm planning on cheating that's why it's taking time for time to answer but i have to say if you start to notice all of these three signs she's she's probably she's probably doing something but i would not pry too much honestly i would just give my girlfriend space and uh just leave it alone because like you can't project like let's say if you were in a relationship before and somebody cheated on you you can't take the projections of the past and then put that in that new relationship it's not healthy so you have to be maybe just honest with her then and just like say i you know i I want you to be more transparent like uh why are you taking time just be the good guy because honestly if you start to pry too much and you guys probably get in a fight and you guys break up it's always it's always good to leave everything on a high note because let's say let's play with the thought that she was cheating on you right or you found out oh my god my girlfriend is about to cheat on me you find out text messages right just say okay i wish you the best and let her go when i was younger right there was this day which i don't even remember what i did but i did something which really really pissed my mom off like really really pissed her off right i think i got in a fight at school or something and i remember when i came home my mom was like a person which she constantly used to yell at me and like oh you know she's she was very you know like very strict and i remember her not saying anything she was just silent and that my friend was almost like the worst punishment and this has happened what it has happened on occasions when yeah when i've been pretty stupid or done something stupid like yeah so that's what i would say like if you if you give them the silent treatment i think that 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 hurts them more than you yelling. Picks up the phone all the time, or she's like super like Speedy Gonzalez with texting back. But today she's out, mm. or she's doing something we don't know, and she's taking forever to answer. You know what she's doing? She's thinking of a good lie. Number four, she gets upset. 
very typical. Why are you always questioning me? Yeah. Why you don't trust me? Okay, number four, I have to agree 100% with Melly here because that has happened. I've been in a relationship where that has happened and we, she just started, oh, you don't, you don't believe me, this and that. And then I found out that she was cheating. So yes, 100%, that is, that is true. That is true. I agree. Why it's always an issue with you? Mm. Uh, okay. I was just asking a simple question. Why is she so defensive? Yeah. And you know, they'd be going overboard. There's phrases that you can hear and you know, she's well you shouldn't be with me why are you with me then yeah like right away she's ready to throw the whole relationship away True. because you're asking her a question what she's doing is really gaslighting you at this point because she want to make sure that you think that your feelings are not valid yeah. and that you are insecure yeah and that pretty much you're she's a little right. crazy why you don't trust me i don't do anything so now you're insecure number yeah. five her body language, you need to look at how yeah. she looks in general. She can keep Touch. eye contact. You ask her a question and she's like, mm. or, she's, or she's telling you a lie and she's looking over there when you're right here. Yeah, that's a form of nervousness. She, she can't really stand herself that she did this to probably a nice guy or whatever, you know. So her body's going to tell you a lot about what she did. If she's withholding touch... She's not really looking at you. Maybe she's like super sad or she's just, she's just down. Then yeah, it's probably cause she, she cheated on you and she can't bear the feeling. So she's like, oh my God, it's, she has shame in her body. So yes, I agree. Why are you looking over there? Well, another good one. She blinks a lot. Uh, no, but uh, I was uh, with uh, Mary. Yeah, we had ice cream. No, nah, I have to disagree there. Blinking a lot. Mm -mm. It's not, it's not, but leave it in the comment section. Is blinking a lot a sign that she's probably cheating on you? Because it's just blinking. Nervousness, yes, but blinking a lot. If my girlfriend's blinking a lot, I wouldn't be like, oh, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta end the relationship. Why are you blinking so much? You get something in your eyes? Pretty much her body start to show signs of stress. No. Maybe she's a little sweat. It's a yellow flag, but no. That's thinking too much. And this is, this is the problem. When you're in a relationship and you're actually there, you're just automatically doing things. And sometimes it's good to have friends, right? You sit down with your friend and then you discuss the problem. Hey, am I thinking too much when it comes to this? You know, it, this, this is the time when you should have very, very good friends around you. People which can actually tell you the truth. But if you're like, mm, because you can think too much, you know, when you get emotional and when you're emotionally attached and then somebody's toying with your emotions like that. Oof. Yeah, that's what you should do and not overthink because sometimes you, you can project things which have happened to you before. Just because it has happened before doesn't mean it's going to happen again, right? A foot is tapping a hand or she's like this Yellow and she's biting her finger yeah. or she's a little out of breath. No. She's touching her face. You know, it's, it's a bunch of signs or she gets red. You know, like, why, why are you like that? Or she crosses her arms, very defensive. Number six. Crossing the arms is stretching a little bit, Melly. Her story keeps on changing. So she started lying. So now she probably got to make up another lie on top of another lie on top of another lie. And she's not going to remember because that wasn't the truth. Yeah. You as a man, you decide the pace of the relationship. If you start to overthink and you start to constantly think like, oh my God, my girlfriend's going to be unfaithful, then that's going to happen. You're always going to be tested. You're always going to be challenged by other men. Like your girlfriend is, whether you like it or not, she's always going to be able to go on Instagram and guys are going to be texting her, oh, beautiful, this and that. Even though she doesn't show it to you, you should always have the mindset that guys are constantly competing against you, right? You just have to be the best version of yourself. Sometimes you just need to court your girl. You just, you need to be the best version of yourself and you have to remind her, this is the reason why you're with me. Because the problem is 
when when you start seeing because women are fickle and that's what they do they they're always looking for the best deal right and when you're when you're there and then you start thinking oh my god my girlfriends if you become insecure and you become afraid you, sh you should not be afraid okay fine he wants my girlfriend i'm gonna show her why she's with me probably remembers but if she's like you know no this or that Ask her for the same story another day and see if the story is still the same. Because mm. most likely it won't be because she don't remember. Number seven, she starts crying. You already know you guys are a sucker for tears. So she's using that. Yes, she's going to cry. So you're going to be like, oh, no, 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 no. What are, what are you doing? Don't, don't, no. Stop crying. It's so Yeah, crying is a form of manipulation. So she, she wants to manipulate you. Probably not a good thing. Okay, it's not a problem. And then you drop the story. Yeah, it works. Number eight, easy one. She hides her phone. Yeah. You will never catch the phone by itself sitting somewhere if she's not around. Brother. She goes to the bathroom, she takes the phone. She goes yeah. take a shower, she takes the phone. Yeah. She leaves the house, obviously she takes the phone. But um, she goes to sleep. Mm. The phone is under the pillow. Yeah. You know there is something with that. Like under 100 percent and that's where i want to i think end it there on the eighth the cell phone when she when she's sleeping with the cell phone she's hiding it and this i say this from personal experience right she's going she's constantly around her phone protecting her phone and it could be like you guys let's say you're in the kitchen right you guys are cooking usually she has her phone just on the table there but she has her phone closed. You don't see her phone. That is a high indicator that she's cheating. And what to do then? <sighs> Just be calm, cool, collected as always. And let her go. Don't attack her. Don't be angry. Just like, hey, I wish you the best. You broke my trust. And then you let it go. And don't text her. Don't do anything. Because the more and more you text... The more and more you're trying to figure out like, oh, baby, why that? Lisa, don't cry. Don't do all of that. Just be short. Be very, very short. If you are maybe live together, you go and live with your parents or whatever. Just be like super short with it. Because honestly, the thing which I've noticed with like people which are cheating, has nothing even to do with you. You could be the greatest person. You could be like, honestly, like the best person. Charming. Funny, because I've been watching so many videos, like a guy which is like the soup, like a superhero, takes care of his kids, awesome guy, takes care of his wife, but she could literally just have something, maybe some, when she was younger, irresolved issues or something which happened with this boyfriend, so she still, she has some trauma there. It could be a thousand of things, right? So... Anyway, those are my thoughts when it comes to this. Wow, this was a really, really good video. Uh, I I agree with with four. Nah, I agree with three, three, four of the things that she said. Uh, but anyway, guys, leave it in the comment section. Tell me what you guys think, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.